Who would like to make $2,000 a month in digital marketing? Okay. Who doesn't have a job yet in digital marketing but really would like to? Some of you guys. Who's an expert in SEO? Some of you guys, like a few of you? I can quiz you on that. Who is a video editor? Okay. Who builds websites? A lot of you guys? All right. I want to show you this framework that we call the content factory. And it's these four stages. And the beauty is that when you have clients that are in America that I know, who are people that I talk about, to tell you all about, come up on here and get the stage from Pine. Yeah. These are people that are absolutely dying to hire you guys to be able to help them grow their businesses. So I'll give you an example. I have a friend, Roger Wakefield, he's a plumber, and he's got a million subscribers across YouTube and TikTok and whatnot. He's the most famous plumber in the United States. If you go to YouTube and whatnot and you search plumbing, you'll see his videos everywhere. And all these other plumbers follow him. And he and I, we did a live stream a couple months ago, and you can see it. And the title was how marketing companies are scamming home service businesses with SEO. Charging, I had one that called me yesterday, and he's paying $8,000 a month for SEO services, which is absolutely ridiculous. And he was getting nothing, right? Roger paid $45,000 for his last three companies, and they did nothing. And so when Roger puts a post out there, you'll see dozens of other plumbers that will contact me saying, hey, I need to hire somebody. Who can I hire to do my digital marketing? Because the last three agencies that I went through, they just wasted my money and scammed me. And I said, I have friends that are in Pakistan that are trained in the content factory. And they're going to help you rank on Google when someone searches for emergency plumber, Dallas, Texas, right? I have a friend, Ken Vandegeen, and he's a pest control company in Portland. So if someone types in rodent infestation Portland, then we want to rank him in the maps, right? Because that's what SEO is. We want to be able to make his website load fast. We want to make sure his social media is there so that people see that he's been in business and doing this a long time and does a really good job. And the key is the four stages here. So I want to walk you through what these four stages are. And I want to show you what the opportunity is for our friends in Pakistan to be able to do this very same thing. Okay? Sound like a deal? Say yes. First stage of the content factory is you've got the raw production of content. This is something that has to be done by the client. So the client maybe has seven or eight technicians in vans that are going about doing whatever they're doing. Landscaping, maybe they're veterinarian, maybe they're a real estate agent, maybe they repair the roofs, but they have lots and lots of proof that they do the thing that they do. So if they're a landscaper in Louisville, Kentucky, then they need to show that they've done landscaping in Louisville, Kentucky, right? That they have great reviews, that they have other people in Louisville that they know, the favorite restaurants, the steakhouses, need to have all this kind of proof that they do this. So they as the client has to produce all of those and put it into a folder for us, right? So if we have that folder, then what do we do? We use tools like Descript, or it could be maybe you guys like CapCut, maybe it's Premiere Pro, it's whatever it is. AI tools are soon almost able to do all of this and then be able to process all of that into Facebook and YouTube and their website, their GMB, Quora, LinkedIn, TikTok, all these other sorts of channels. We take that content, move it into the third stage, and then we do dollar day advertising in the fourth stage. So this is not an SEO person. This is not a video editor. This is not a designer, right? This is you guys being able to take the content that's here in stage one and bring it all the way through stage two, stage three, stage four. And the result of that is that we rank number one on a lot of the most competitive terms for these local service businesses. So we have one guy, his name is Andy Davis, and he runs Pilot Plumbing in Vancouver, Washington. And if Will Troop can make his way here, I think he's still stuck at the hotel, just in the last month, we took them from nothing to $20,000 a week in Google local service ads. And now we rank number one, I think, in Portland plumbing, which is, I don't know how many phone calls that drives, but I want to think it's $3.5 million a year, something like that, right, from, from the SEO. 
And we've done this for Roger Wakefield, for his businesses. We've done it for so many local businesses, and it all follows this content factory process. So for you guys to be able to do this, for American clients, you just have to go through this content factory training to understand how do you use the different tools to bring it all the way through, because the net result is they're gonna see that their phone rings more, right? This four-stage process is something that you can use to stand out beyond what you might see on Fiverr or Upwork, right? Because on Fiverr or Upwork, you're just selling some specific tool that you're able to use. You're just selling, here's how I use Canva. Well, who, how much money is someone gonna pay for someone to do Canva stuff for you, right? But what you're saying is, I can drive results off of this. I can take your existing business, if you qualify, because we're not gonna take on everybody, and I can drive it all the way through to the sale. Who's got the clicker? Is there a clicker? Next slide. You like my hat? Yeah. I was there at the at Chaiwala, or at Chai, was it Chai Fest? And one of the vendors gave me this. They gave me a tour. I think Azad was supposed to be here, but he had a stomach issue. Who can advance the slide? Is some, someone got this? Okay. Yeah, we'll just go one at a time. It's a little bit ugly. So what's the raw ingredient in the content factory? The first stage is short form video. So it can be Video of me asking Dan Eulen, how did you become the elite student coach? It could be what we have here at Future Fest. It could be the videos here that Will is collecting. When you have raw form video and you're able to process it, like it's me and Mark Zuckerberg arguing on CNN. That's a famous one, right? All of these videos can be cut into different pieces to be repurposed. So when I was on CNN with Mark Zuckerberg, there were three and a half million people that were watching live worldwide. But just for that four and a half minutes. After that, no one else saw it. So you have to take that content and you have to be able to repurpose it so it continue, continues to be seen. And the same thing, anytime you have a moment of excellence, you have some kind of achievement, you win an award, you've done something amazing, you want to be able to repurpose that. Dan Eulen's perfect at doing this because he coaches these elite students that are incredible and he takes those moments and he makes it available to college admissions officers. He makes it available to grow their career, right? All right, next slide. I might just scroll down. When you have these raw ingredients, down. You went up, go down. Let's go down. Yeah, that's the right way. Scroll down, a little bit more. Just one slide at a time. The beauty of personal branding is it's not what you have to say about yourself, because then you become a narcissist. You never want to be that kind of person, right? Would you agree that your reputation and your personal brand, your ability to make money, is based on your network and who you know? Right? So you're in an incredible place where there's so many people here that are well known. I don't know how many selfies I've taken with you guys, hundreds. This is a great opportunity because when you show that you know Mark Lack, or you know Barry Habib, or you know, you know Jake Paul, or whoever it is. And not just that you take a selfie, but you make a 15 second video. That's the thing that drives your business relationships. That's the thing that drives your career. That's the thing that if, for example, Will is doing some great work here in Pakistan. Now he's well known in Pakistan because he spoke at CPC, speaking at Feature Fest. Now people have seen Will Troop everywhere. That builds his brand to be able to hire more people out of Pakistan, right? So the kinds of clients that you want to work with, the kinds of people that you want to work with are directly tied to the network that you can show that you have on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on your website, on Twitter, on these other places, right? There was a talk yesterday about networking. I don't think a lot of us realize that it's actually more important than skill. Skill is very important, but the network is actually the thing that distinguishes you guys to, to be able to do business in America, right? So I want to show you this last thing. Go all the way down. You'll see all of these pieces. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Don't scroll if you don't want to. Here's the thing. We are hiring like crazy. We cannot find enough qualified people in Pakistan. Rehan Alawala has told me over and over again, there's millions here in Pakistan. We just hired Yahya here, full time. He stayed with us at the PC. And why did we hire him? 
because he demonstrated that he could edit videos in the way that we said. It wasn't because he came up to me and he said, hey, hire me, hire me, please, sir, need job. No, he actually demonstrated this kind of knowledge. If any of you guys can demonstrate knowledge on what we teach in the content factory in these four stages, I want you to see Yaya here and say, I want to do the same thing, okay? I am here to create jobs for you guys so that you can help our home service businesses, the Roger Wakefields of the world, because I want you to make $2,000 a month. Will Troop makes how much per month? Uh, 17000 $17,000 a month. Would you like to do that? I want you to join, the last thing I'll say, I want you to join the Facebook group that Rehan created called Digital Marketing with Dennis Yu. So pull out your Facebook, pull, on your phone, join that group right now. I want you to learn how to process content. All that training there is free. There's all the audits. Everything's there if you're willing to put in the time, okay? Thank you very much, guys. I think it's Will's turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just do one little thing here. Pakistan! Pakistan! Love you guys. Who's running this thing? Come on now. Let's give it a hand for Will Troop. Hey, while we're waiting, Yaya, come up here. I want to interview you while we're waiting until whoever's running this thing comes back. Might as well use the time, right? You guys are here. So tell everyone, who, who are you? I'm Yahya Imran, a YouTuber. And, and how did you get hired, and, and what have you done so these guys can learn from you? Well, I wasn't here for the money. I was here to make friends, actually build my network. Learn from him. Yes? What advice do you have for them? Tell every, get, help everybody, because they want to be like you, right? Yeah. What do they need to know? Your network determines your net worth. What you should network, yeah? make friends, not find clients. Now, you've been editing videos on YouTube and whatnot for two years now, yeah. right? And you're 14. Yes. And you've done it for some people that are well-known. And yeah. now you're doing it for me. Why, yes. Why do you think I'm impressed with you? Because I didn't ask for money. I showed my value. Yeah. I tried to hire him a couple days ago. He showed me the stuff that he did, and I said, give me your PayPal so I can send you some money right now to put some stuff together. And he refused it. And it wasn't because we were trying to get him to work for free. It's because his goal was to learn. His goal was to get good. And he said he wanted to earn it. Whenever, whenever I see people willing to do that, willing to put in the time, where they come up and they say, you know what, I've studied Dollar a Day. I've studied how to edit one of my videos. I've studied the things that you and Will Troop do. I, I saw that live stream that you had with Roger. That tells me you, you put in the time, that you, you put in the effort. So I want you guys to take advantage of that. You have someone like Yaya here that you can learn from. You know, if I were you in the audience, I'd come up to this guy and say, hey, teach me, right? What do I need to do? Let's take a selfie together, right? How do I follow you, okay? All right, guys, who's, who's running this? <laughs> You are? Come on over here and take the microphone. All right, guys, thank you very much.